Hi, I'm Aldias in Medium, and thank you so much for tuning in today. I want to try to bring religion and spirituality closer together, and this is what this pod is all about. I will talk about my own thoughts and feelings as I am both LDS and have spiritual gifts, something that I've had my whole life, but I always thought that it was hard to combine these gifts with my religion. This has torn me into two directions and I have talked to many people who feel the same way. I can't choose not to have my spiritual gifts, but I can choose how I use them. And I always want to use them for good and to help others. I believe my heavenly parents gave them to me for a reason. So. This is me. Join my quest for knowledge. Step one on my way back. So the other Sunday I went to church. I only go every other Sunday since my ex lives in the same ward and goes every other Sunday. Anyway, I went to church and my youngest didn't come with me since he did something else that Sunday, which gave me the opportunity to talk to the bishop. He talked to me some months ago and I came clear about the pod. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong, but I just wanted to be honest and throw it out there that I have a pod, and it's a little bit about having special spiritual gifts and how it was growing up feeling different. So I know I started listening because I can see all the locations on Basbra, where everyone listens from. And before Christmas, he said he wanted to talk to me about the pod, and so... dot dot dot. And I have procrastinated that talk, so now, almost six months later, I faced the fears. It was a really good talk. I love the way he phrased it. He said very humbly that he didn't feel that he was enough knowledgeable about the subject for him to know if what I'm saying is okay or not. And in the end, when he asks me about if I feel worthy and don't do anything that goes against the church, as long as I can answer those questions truthfully, he was okay with it. And honestly, I don't think I've ever felt more worthy, not just to go to the temple, but as a human being feeling worthy as being me. My whole life I have struggled with not feeling enough, not feeling worthy or lovable, and the divorce felt like an utter failure. Here was the proof. He promised before God to love and cherish me for time and all eternity, and he couldn't. Doesn't that mean no one can? I'm just not worthy of love. That's my thought, my beliefs. Now, looking back and knowing where it came from, I understand why I had such beliefs. But so much has happened in these past two and a half years. So sitting there in his office and answering the questions, I felt this joy inside of me. Just pure joy, wanting to burst out on me. And I felt happy, like really happy. And I felt worthy in a way I've never experienced before. It's hard to explain, but it felt as if I have lived a life in black and white and grays. And all of a sudden, I see colors. Lots and lots of colors in different shades, and it's marvelous. So, I'm one step closer to that temple, and I love how my bishop told me, if I really want to be closer to the Lord and get some close connections and revelations, the temple is the place to be, and I totally agree. I can't wait to step in there, not for the first time, but for the first time as I have worked so hard these past years to finding me and truly see me, and to incorporate being a daughter of God, and taking that with me as I step into his house again. I'm not there yet. I still have steps to take, but I'm not taking them alone. I know he is with me every step of the way, and that brings peace to my heart. I really have a good bishop. I must say he's a truly good person with a big heart. He has listened to me, comforted me, and been with me on this journey. And I'm so grateful for him and his wife, who has supported me. Looking back, I have amazing people in my life. I hope I can give you hope and send you strength and be there, as I had people being there for me. So until next time, do something good for another person. Give them a smile, reach out a helping hand. And above all else, be the light, share the light, spread the light, and shine. This is my journey. Thank you so much for keeping me company today. Please download, like, share and subscribe and help spread the light and spread the word to expand our community. Let's bring more love, peace and unity to this world. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Always be grateful, kind and loving. Be brave and remember to step out of your comfort zone and smile. If you support us on Patreon, you will get access to our meditations and extra materials so you can download them as mp3. Also. We now have a Facebook group 
which you can access from our Facebook community. Please answer the questions as you apply to participate. It will be a safe haven where we can keep discussing religion and spirituality, our spiritual gifts, and self-development. Remember, one person can make a difference, but together we can change the world.